Hello students, welcome back to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the uniform load has a mass of 600 kg and is lifted using a uniform 30 kg strong back beam BAC. So this uniform load has a mass of 600 kg and this BAC beam has mass of 30 kg so it is said that determine the tension in each rope and the force that must be applied at a so we have to find in the force f which must be applied at a and we have to find the tension in these four ropes so now if we look into this whole system from this side so then we will be able to see this 2d diagram right we will be able to see the front view of this whole system so let's say that this is that box which is carrying some load and the the mass is 600 so 600 times 9.81 that will be the weight so 600 multiplied by 9.81 this is 5886 newtons so let me write that the weight is uh, 5886 newtons and uh, let's say that we have tension T1 in this ro rope and tension T2 in this rope and as we can see that uh, this whole system is symmetrical about a plane which passes through this BC so we have equal distribution on both sides and similarly if we uh, consider another plane like this so this part and this part they are symmetrical as well so now let's let's say that the tension if we cut this rope so if i cut this rope somewhere here let's see if i cut this rope here and cut this rope here and similarly those two ropes on the back side so we will have t1 and t2 let's see so now let me represent that t1 and t2 here so here we will have if we cut this rope, so we will have T1 and here we will have T2 but since we have that same rope on the back side so we will multiply this with 2 since we have 2 such ropes so this will be 2T1 and we will have 2T2 and similarly we will have that same 2T1 acting here and we will have that same 2T2 acting here so now if if we consider the box if we consider the box so then we, we only need to consider this 2t1 2t2 and 500 5886 weight since when we cut these ropes this bac along with these ropes they 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 will be considered as a single free body diagram that free body diagram will be considered as a separate diagram so now if i show these uh, tensions here so we will have that same tension this will be 2t1 and this will be 2t2 and the weight is going to act in the downward direction so now if we consider the box for equilibrium let's see so then uh, we have this box and we have this 2t1 and 2t2 and we can apply the summation of forces along x this summation of forces along x that must be equals to zero so now let's resolve this 2t1 into its component so we will have one component of 2t1 like this and we will have one component of 2t1 like this and similarly we will have the component here and we will have the component here so so let's say that this 2t1 is making some angle theta here and this is making some angle theta here so then that theta is given in the form of these dimensions we are given that uh, this point of the rope is at a distance of 1.5 since this point b is at the at the mid length right so the, the total length is 3 meters so the half is 1.5 so this is 1.5 and this is 2 so now if we consider that triangle right angle triangle so this is 1.5 and this is 2 and this is let's say that theta so now if we find the hypotenuse let's say that the hypotenuse is x so by applying the pythagoras theorem we can find this hypotenuse so that this will be equal to x square will be equal to 2 square plus 1.5 square and we, if you want to find x uh, then we have to take the square root and this will give us uh, 
2.5 I guess this is 2 squared plus 1.5 squared this gives us 2.5 so this is 2.5 meters so this means that the length of the rope is 2.5 meters so the hypotenuse is 2.5 so this is 2.5 meters so now this will be if if we consider this as an angle and if we consider this as an angle since uh, both the ropes are making that same angle so we will have that same theta here and we will have that same angle theta here so now these two are the cos component so we can say that 2 t1 cos of theta so the summation of forces along x so we will write that 2 t1 cos of theta this component is acting in the positive x towards the right is our positive x direction similarly we will have 2 t2 cos of theta but in the negative direction so 2 t2 cos of theta and this will be equal to 0 and from this we can say that 2 t1 cos of theta is equal to 2 t2 cos of theta and if we divide both sides of equation by 2 cos of theta so we will have t1 equals to t2 so this means that the tension in all the ropes is equal is equal and let's say that that tension t1 equals to t2 is equal to t so uh, the tension in all the ropes is equal and that is let's say t now we have to find that t similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero and in the upward direction is our positive y direction so now as we can see that this is a uh, now when t1 and t2 are equal so they so we can say that this is 2t and this is 2t since t1 equals to t2 is equal to t so now this is the sine component of this 2t1 so we can write that plus it is acting in the positive direction so we will write 2t1 sine of theta and similarly this will be 2t2 sine of theta so plus 2t2 sine of theta and minus this weight so minus 5886 this is equal to 0 and similarly as we know that uh, t1 and t2 are equal so we can say that t1 is t1 is t and t2 is t so now we can add both of these uh, sine components so that will become 4t sine of theta and if we bring this term to the other side of the equation it will become positive so 5886 and now from this triangle we can say that sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so this is 4t 4t and perpendicular is 2 and the hypotenuse is 2.5 this is equal to 58.86 and from this we can say that the tension in each rope is 58.86 multiplied by 2.5 divided by 2 into 4 so this is uh, 5886 multiplied by 2.5 divided by 2 multiply 4. So this gives us 1839. So the tension in each rope is equal to 1839.38 Newton approximately. So now we know the tension in in all of these ropes and the tension in all of these ropes is uh, is equal and that is equal to 1839.38 newtons now to find this force f we have to consider this bac arm so we have to consider uh, this free body diagram let me erase the box now so we are going to consider that free body diagram now and similarly if 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 this t is making that angle theta here then this t is also making that same angle theta here and similarly it is also making that same angle theta here since both of these angles are alternate angles now again we can resolve this uh, 2t1 and 2t2 into its components again if this is their theta so then we will have this one will be the cos component this one will be the cos component and similarly they will have the sine component the sine component will be acting like this so this one will be 2 t1 sine of theta and this will be 2 t2 sine of theta and similarly this uh, strong back beam has its mass as well this is 30 kg so its weight is going to act in the downward direction so we have to show that weight so that weight is going to act 
downward here so now let me show that weight and that weight is acting somewhere here and that weight is 30 times 9.81 newton so now if we consider uh, this as a free body diagram and if we apply the summation of forces along y so we are considering the beam BAC for equilibrium and if we apply the summation of forces along y that is equal to zero and in the upward direction is our positive y direction so now as we can see that this f is acting in the positive y so we will write plus f minus the sine component of this 2t1 and t1 and t2 are equal so we can say that this is uh, t1 is t and t2 is t so 2t sine of theta this is 2t sine of theta and this is 2t sine of theta so minus 2t sine of theta and then we have minus 2t sine of theta and then the weight of the beam is acting in the downward direction so that is 30 into 9.81 and this is equal to 0 so now this is f and minus 2t sine of theta and minus 2t sine of theta that is uh, 4t sine of theta so minus 4t sine of theta minus 30 into 9.81 this is equal to 0 and now the force is equal to 4t sine of theta plus 30 into 9.81 so now we know from this equation that 40 sine of theta is equal to the weight that is 5886 so I will directly equate this equal to this 5886 plus 30 into 9.81 so 5886 plus 30 into 9.81 this gives us 6180 so the force f equals to 6180 newton approximately so we were asked to find the tension in each cable the tension in each cable is 1839.38 newton and the force at this and the force which we require to apply at this point a is equal to 6180 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning like this video and subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics